What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, this is gonna be a completely different type of content for you guys, uh, all of my OG subscribers out there. I actually have some more BMW content dropping shortly. Uh, it's been a crazy summer for me. I actually got a, a new job doing a lot of travel, uh, but I will be hitting you guys up with some more content coming shortly. Today is gonna be completely different. We're actually gonna be talking about my uh, McLean real mower. Uh, this is just gonna be a quick how-to video on how to do the electric conversion that I did on this mower. Um, and then I will also give you guys a part list down in the description. So uh, before we delay anymore, we're gonna jump right into the video. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around now, let's get started. Okay, so this is my 20 inch McLean. I actually purchased this one uh, roughly about a year and a half ago. Bought it off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. I think I got it for 140 bucks. Uh, as you guys can see from the, uh, the stickers, it's a seven blade unit. Uh, the previous owner had already swapped over to the Predator, uh, Predator engine. So it's got the 212 cc Predator, uh, Predator, can't even say that right now, Predator engine. Um, I really like this engine, but it is super, super loud. Um, so, um, and like I said, I've always liked the idea of actually converting over to electric. So uh, as you guys can see, I've got some parts that just came in. A lot of this stuff came from Amazon. Uh, some of it was just other units that I had. So of course we've got a, a motor. This is a 40 volt motor, some chain from uh, actually, uh, I, I put a new chain on the, the mower when I purchased it. Um, actually got ourselves a speed control module here as well as I went ahead and opted to get a uh, polarity verse, uh, polarity switch reverse so I could actually switch that motor uh, from backward to forward for easy uh, lapping on the, uh, on the unit as well as uh, the sprocket that was necessary. Um, this is a 80 volt max 80 volt uh, 2.5 amp hour lithium ion battery. The first thing I'm going to start working on and I'm gonna do this off camera is I'm gonna go ahead and start removing the existing engine. So I'm gonna get that pulled off and then I'm gonna pull the mower back outside and just power wash it real quick. Try to get it as clean as possible before I start going through the process of, uh, of kind of testing out my parts and, and mounting those. Um, actually, now that I think about that, we're gonna skip that. that that's gonna be held off for a moment. What I probably should do first is go ahead and connect my battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble this cobalt uh, base, uh, put the battery unit on there, make sure that this is wired up and just make sure that my, my actually motor fires up with the speed control and everything is good there before I start worry about, uh, worrying about removing uh, the existing motor. So I'm gonna do that real quick off, off camera. Um, I will get back with you guys here shortly when I've got this disassembled. Okay, so one step at a time here. We have disassembled our cobalt unit. So there's the other section there. Here we have this unit and I have some wires just coming in off the positive and negative leads that we have here. Um, those wires then go right now into our, um, our control box. And out of our control box, we have the leads positive, negative going to the motor, okay? So um, what we'll do real quick here, and this is of course just testing the motor and then I'll see about testing the additional uh, polarity switch here in just a moment, but okay. So time for a quick update. Um, I've got my new switch wired in uh, and I actually had to find a video to actually how to swap the wire in these polarity switches. Uh, but we do have power now going to um, these switches as well. I'm just gonna slip this in here, just kind of separate them so they're not touching at the moment, uh, these two leads. So if I connect my battery, um, we actually have power already, but because of the switch here, it's actually had, it has it in, in neutral mode. So when I press forward, as you can see, the motor's moving now, and then it goes back up. It's kind of like a dead man switch here. Press that back, and it is actually reversing. It's hard to see with this, uh, this small little um, sprocket. I'm actually gonna swap out the sprocket here in just a moment. But uh, we, we are functioning now. Uh, the only thing I do not like at the moment is I, I would prefer the switch to actually stay engaged as opposed to actually turning off whenever you uh, you let you know you let off the switch. But uh, that's something that I'll have to address at a different time. So pull the motor. There's our Predator motor sitting there. Still all got our electronic components. You can see all of the components that I've actually uh, parts and bolts and nuts everything that we pulled off of our real mower and then here we've got the unit just kind of just pressure washed it down uh, i will probably plan maybe in the fall on basically completely disassembling it and seeing about maybe just repainting it and th that sort of thing uh, i'm not sure what paint theme or anything like that i'll go with but 
Uh, yeah, so uh, we are basically ready. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do is we'll probably let this dry for a moment. Uh, and then of course you can already see our chain component down here. Uh, and it's, it's chain is actually off. Uh, we're gonna remove this chain completely and we will actually uh, mount our unit right here on top with the uh, the new sprocket and we will connect the chain to it uh, to, to drive the power for the wheels as well as the blade. So uh, that is our goal. Uh, I will catch up with you guys here shortly. Okay, so I've made some really good progress here. Uh, we've got the um, unit dried off, kind of mocking up where the motor is gonna go. Uh, my only issue right now is that uh, my cutoff wheel is broken, so I don't have anything to cut my chain. And I want to actually get this uh, positioned properly um, with the chain, kind of make sure I have a, a good straight chain before I actually get this uh, bolted down and, and you know where I want it to go. So uh, I did uh, off camera, you kind of see a little bit of this. I just used my little five pound sledgehammer, just kind of beat on that a little bit, just so that this is actually gonna sit a little bit flatter. Uh, before you were you were getting a, a, a quite a bit of a lift off of this little ridge here uh, So it's uh, it's actually sitting a little bit better now. Uh, it's not hundred percent perfect, but that's better And but like I said, I'm gonna kind of at a point where I have to stop until I can actually get a uh, cutoff wheel uh, To be able to cut this chain my cutoff wheel is broken. So on to Harbor Freight. Okay, so our current controller is not working. So uh, this has been a couple days. I had to go on um, Amazon picked up a new controller so we're gonna give this new controller a shot so uh, the previous controller was not controlling the speed uh, it just just was not functioning the way we need it to so we're gonna give this one a shot I'm gonna go ahead and wire this in now and uh, we'll report back here shortly okay so it's been about a week or a little bit more actually uh, we've had some uh, changes to this setup of course, the uh, the mounting of the, uh, the the motors hasn't changed at all. But what I end up actually doing is I found a 40 volt uh, cobalt battery. Uh, this is a five amp uh, five amp hour battery. Uh, was able to to source that as well as a charger for the five amp hour battery. So we have that now. Uh, before using the 80 volt battery, I just kept on burning up the uh, the speed controllers. So we have a new speed controller right now that's mounted here, uh, and I will put some of these. Uh, items in the in the description of course uh, and we actually have it came with its own button or, which actually allows you to change the polarity uh, which is really nice so I can actually reverse uh, the the motor without any issues at all and it's literally just wired directly into the speed controller uh, we have our um, our control knob here uh, to control our speed uh, so we are actually set up and we are good to go I've been kind of testing this out I will uh, give you guys a quick uh, show on how this is working for me right now one thing that I have noticed uh, in using the, um, the real mower with the electric mower. Now, uh, if it is something that you're looking at doing your regular maintenance cuts each week, you know, cutting every two days, then I believe you're gonna have, this will be a really nice setup because it is it's super quiet uh, and then the battery will last. But if you are actually having to do cuts where uh, you've got, you know, a little bit uh, longer time in intervals in between those cuts, it's been a week or whatnot, and you're having to really kind of cut down that grass, it's thick, this has a problem keeping up. Uh, it just does not have enough power. And the, the more uh, strain that you're actually uh, putting on the motor, uh, the more ba uh, battery draw you're gonna get. And so it's not gonna last as long. So uh, what I, what I and, and again, I haven't really been able to truly test it out as far as um, how long the battery lasts when cutting just on a normal maintenance. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. Uh, but I'll give you guys a quick, quick idea or a quick uh, look at how this operates now. So let me make sure I get the battery plugged in. Again, this is still set up uh, temporarily. So this is not necessarily my final uh, install as far as wiring and things of that nature and mounting. But uh, this definitely works out uh, super nice right now. Uh, I'm able to pull the battery out anytime, put it back on the charger and charge it. And we just turn around and we're good to go again. So give me just a quick second. I'm going to plug in the battery and then I'll show you guys uh, how it operates. Okay, and it's as simple as this for me right now, just as this temporary setup. I actually am just wiring just to my positive and negative here, uh, and that gives me the power that I need. Now I'll come over here and I put this into my forward motion, and when I do, turn my knob. There we go. And just like that, we're operating. Now I can actually, again, just slowly turn my knob there, put this in reverse, and I can actually backlap, which is really nice as well too. 
So I did that uh, or a week or two ago. Actually, was able to backlight my my blade, so that's really nice. Um, so while I'm actually out here cutting, uh, I am not actually using the drive wheels. So uh, swapping over to this motor, I think this motor is roughly 10 pounds uh, from the uh, the old engine that we had on here. This mower is considerably lighter. I don't really need to uh, use the, the drive wheels, which would just technically, it would uh, cause more drain on my battery and would actually give me less cutting time. So at this point, I've chosen at the moment to not use the drive wheels. So again, if you're just doing your maintenance cuts, cutting every two to three days uh, on my yard, drive wheels were not necessary at all. So I will not be using it in these cuts. So just uh, again, wanted to make sure I told you guys that before we got into to the cutting. Okay. And so I did a sink, what I would call a single pass over the lawn, just going over each section one time. Um, right now it shows I have about two bars remaining a charge. Um, I'm kind of a perfectionist. So if I were to cut this on a normal basis, I would probably want to do uh, probably a double pass. Uh, I, I did this um, horizontally this time and, and I don't necessarily, I'm not getting necessarily the best cut uh, with this uh, real mower. I'm actually in the process of kind of trying to work out all the kinks on it. I think I actually probably need a new bed knife, uh, but it is a very, very nice cut for what it's worth. So we just finished up with what would be a, a triple cut actually on this side now. Uh, the front yard has been double cut. Uh, this battery still shows two bars of additional power. So again, not sure how far that'll take me. But at this point, again, I've, I've cut this side three times and I have now cut this section twice. Uh, I went horizontally and then vertically. And that is more of what I would probably do on a typical basis. So it's nice to know that that is something that can be done. And as we can see, of course, my my grass is still in some infancy stages here. I got a, looks like maybe a dry spot starting to come in here. Uh, this will be the first year where I'm actually able to probably maintain uh, cutting the yard, you know, every 24, I mean, not 24, 36 hours roughly. So, uh, I'm sorry, 48 hours roughly. So every, every two to three days is what my goal is on cutting. This will probably be the first year that I'm able to do that. So the yard is still thickening up. So we'll see how this works as far as longevity, but I am really, really enjoying uh, the battery setup. Again, guys, I am not an electrical engineer. I am a mechanical engineer, but I'm not electrical. So if you guys have any pointers, any tips, anything like that, that I'm missing, uh, definitely feel free to drop that below in the comments. But um, this is what I have right now and I'm enjoying it. So now I think I'll give it a shot on the backyard. Uh, but uh, again, I know this isn't the normal content that uh, everyone's used to seeing on my channel. Usually it's on the BMW, uh, but I wanted to kind of want to document this as far as my uh, my build of this this uh, electric reel mower. So, okay, I had to get, grab the camera here. Hopefully it's not too windy out here. And sorry about the AC noise over here. But so uh, the battery lasted. We just finished cutting the backyard as well. Uh, and just for reference, I mean, my, my lot is probably a quarter of an acre, so this is not a huge lot by any means. But uh, we're going to see if we can step back here. Uh, and keep in mind, I just was thinking about this in the front yard as well as in the backyard. I have some brown spots. Uh, that is because we just had a yard treatment done and we're killing off some poana that just would not go away. So this whole patch here is uh, a lot of poana that's actually dying. Uh, some over there as well, too. Um, and then I need to do something about that corner over there, but um, yeah, it actually made it Yard looks really really good actually end up uh, roughly double cutting a couple areas so uh, The battery lasted uh, Again, we're still in the infancy stages of our Bermuda uh, Still trying to learn how to get what we can out of this uh, real mower keeping it low as possible and uh, trying to uh, get this grass to, to take off would love to have a nice turf back here. So I uh, just want to give you guys this quick update. Uh, again, if you have any questions, any comments, drop them down low. Um, and uh, other than that, you guys be safe 
and we will catch you guys in the next video.